Greetings, gentle viewers, and welcome to Despair. Things have certainly escalated. Everybody in Toa City, having been placed against their will into arbitrary sides, i.e. the adults and the children, are now all trying to kill each other. Oh, boy. <laughs> And speaking of trying to kill each other, where are the bittersweet gamers? <laughs> Billy, I will never, ever forgive you. You will pay for taking the last energy drink three months ago. <laughs> I'll never let it go. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Can't you see my rage? That was just an intro gag. For you. Anyway. We're at the beginning of the final chapter, and the only way to stop everything is to storm the bad guys' headquarters and defeat them all. So, really nothing has changed. It was always going to end this way. So let's do it! <laughs> I'll be... I really didn't think that we would get Kenshino's card for some reason. We had a, a slight, like, disagreement about this in between recordings, like... Well, the only people that are left are... Yeah, yeah. And so, for Sakura, wouldn't it be Kenshiro? Well, I, I guess it is. I, I hope he's okay. Wasn't he dying? He was in the hospital, yeah. I, I guess he's fine. A super big-sized demon who is in charge of a secret assassination skill. It was supposed to be the strongest human alive in the demon world, and its assassin <laughs> fist can even break the ground in half. <laughs> Don't hunt it alone, it will hurt you. But it's supposed to actually be really sick, so stay far away from it and make it all tired before you kill it. And I do like that it looks like Toki and not Kenshiro. It does look like Toki! Only one more! Hey, Hiroko! Kitty Hitotain! The kindest looking old man. Hey, hey! Targeting the elderly, too. They really don't discriminate. Well, we went through this with gross butlerics before. Remember my rage? <laughs> Jeez. If they just waited a week, he would probably die of old age. And there's no need to kill him. I... Why do I have this expression? I will hurt you. Togo! Togo, that's rude! You have to respisp... Re respec! We have to reallocate our stats? Jeez! Respeculate! You're Elderon! <laughs> you can't even say it properly! Respeculate and... the Eldertrons! <laughs> uh, by the way, what was the detective library again? I feel like I've heard that somewhere before, but I can't remember. You're right. If we can trust what's written here, isn't it some kind of detective union? Yeah, sounds cool, doesn't it? Like it should be in a video game or something. <laughs> or maybe a group that mediates jobs to private investigators? <laughs> oh, so it's just like a manga artist union. If that helps you, sure. Anyway, a union of detectives sounds super cool. Kind of like a secret organization. You know, <laughs> one of them gets some new information and they're like, hmm, who shall I pass it along to? You, Kitty Kitty Kyoko, it shall be you. And then she steps forward into like the big dark light. And then there's like a spotlight coming down and she takes the orders and she's like, <laughs> oh, I love it! Anyway, real life detectives are no good at all. Hmm? Why not? Don't detectives in real life solve super cool investigations like in manga? Well, no. Well, I guess it's not that actual detectives are no good. More like most situations don't even require a detective. A lot of spying on cheating spouses yeah. and looking for, um, like looking for criminals. It's really boring grunt work, that's apparently. Right. Huh. Yeah, that's right. Unless there's some super complicated case, detectives aren't really needed. Even if there is one, they're not really needed. Of course, most police officers and judges fit that bill, too. It's true. You're right. Right, that goes without saying. I guess that's why I'm repulsed by them so much. Also, I am a serial killer, so I might have some reason to be anti-authority. Respeculate the detective bobs! <laughs> For some reason, that sounds philosophical. Leave it to me. Anyway, regardless if they're detectives or culprits, we gotta save them now. 
Leave it to me. I'll solve it in a flash, just like manga detectives. <laughs> Save a mate, the captivores! Captivores? Is that someone who eats captives? Save a mate them! Ken Shedox. You were shock! Hey, hey! Uh, assassin Fist? Are the captives really allowed to do that kind of BS in this game? <laughs> Isn't this something just some <laughs> kid wrote? They're probably just making it up. Super cool detective organizations, <laughs> bombs inside the womb, what? improbable romance. These are realistic. But assassin <laughs> says, next you're going to tell me he touches somebody's pressure point and makes their head blow up. Nobody no. would ever believe that. No, no, my guess is this is the truth because I know who he's related to. Toko, <laughs> you just believe anything you hear. I know a monster just as powerful as this guy. Hmm. A uh, monster? You're right. Yeah, she was called Ogre and the strongest person in the world. Oh, that is such <laughs> BS. <laughs> Who would ever believe a situation like that, serial killer? And those nicknames were no exaggeration. She really was a monster. I kind of wish she was here. She'd wipe out all these Monokuma in a flash. And if she can exist, I'm sure that something like Assassin Fist exists. On the Satsuken, maybe? Oh, yeah. Then is it true that his days are numbered? Sounds like a plot point from a manga. <laughs> You're gonna say he saw the Star of Death or something silly like that, aren't you? Oh, no, he became irradiated from Fallout and... <laughs> well... It is a familiar story. Assassins always have short lives. Just like how female spies always somehow fall in love. Toko, <laughs> you are living in the 80s. Even though I don't really get that reference, you can leave this to me. Assassin fist or no, I'll take the responsibility of saving it. Save the maze of Respaculon! Just kidding. Of course, I'm not personally going. I don't even like that show. <laughs> huh? Hey, what's the big idea, handing me something like this? You're right here! We handed you all the other ones for you to combobula save so I figure I may as well just be consistent. You better not be making fun of me. Oh. No, I wasn't thinking anything at all. I was just handing it over like I had lived a second ago. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not the kind of woman to get pissed off about something like this. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> you really thought so? You look kind of relieved to me. You probably thought she was going to hit you with a crowbar or something, right? Stop it! No, honest, I was not thinking about getting hit with a crowbar <laughs> and dragged behind a bike over to some biker gang and then the detectives get involved and then there's the assassins and the robot bears and there's a bomb! I want to fall in love! Tell the truth! I'm innocent! Are you a little stressed out, honey? Yes! Wow, you really, really suck at lying! <laughs> More importantly, this file is so rude. I'm sure they could have written it a little nicer. You're complaining because a bunch of homicidal children did not paint a positive picture of you. <laughs> no, even I have my pride. What, really? I don't know. I think typical demon is pretty well put. How would you describe it? Um, um, like how the hair is unique. It kind of has like a sickle blade shaped ahoge. Oh, okay. Or how she reads tons of manga. Or maybe how she really likes tuna eyeballs. Or how she makes funny voices <laughs> with an eclectic fan. Or, or how she's not really good with numbers. And that's about it, right? It's gonna be all right. Coco, there's nothing embarrassing about being normal. Stop it! I don't want to normalize the encephalon! <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm embarrassed! More importantly... They wrote unknown for hunting grounds. They haven't found you. That's kind of pathetic when you think about it. I feel like we've actually always been easy to find. Well, for one, she doesn't have the bracelet on anymore, but... You should be happy about that, not sad about the whole typical demon part. Aww. As a normal girl, I'm happy in a perfectly normal way. Remember when I told you you sucked at lying? 
Your face and aid sucks and blather skiting. <laughs> How are you doing, fine citizen? Could it be? That weapon. Don't tell me you used it on a child. No. Oh, don't worry. This is for Monokumas. No matter how horribly we were treated, I can at least keep my sense of tact. I'm not going to just crush all their little heads like watermelons or anything. Yet. No, I, as long as things don't get worse. Especially if they find them cowering somewhere, like like we saw in the cutscene. Right. And And if things stay this way, that is good. Yeah, if all they do is capture the children, excellent. It's or even the way we were them. talking earlier. Or even ignore or them. Or ignore them. And most of them are probably going to do that. But if something big happens and there's a big change, maybe not. Yeah, the mob mentality. Uh, I thought not. I, I hope it's true. But, like that guy was blabbing about, if something were to happen... That would be a different story. If some horrible, unthinkable situation occurred, well, then I'd just have to use this on a kid. I like how I totally called it, but it took me 55 minutes to get those sentences out. <laughs> Don't mess with me! What happened to your sense of tact? Hey. You sound so certain deriding me. If you don't kill the kid, the woman next to you is dead. What if that was the situation? Would you just remain a spectator? Watch her die? He's not wrong. Well... That's... Realistically, most people don't have superhuman powers that enable them to be like, Bang! I have just struck you and knocked you unconscious. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Like, you do what you have to do. Again, he's not wrong. Like that, that little gut punch you always see in anime that magically knocks people out? <laughs> yeah, that, there is no such thing. <laughs> Maybe if you're a high-level heavyweight boxer and you just straight on right cross some random guy in the face, they'll, you know, they're probably gonna go down. But, but the, they'll probably also die. The problem is, is you very well might have broken their jaw, nose, and made them lose so many teeth. And, <laughs> anyway. I went outside with a resolute mind. If something happens, I will not hesitate to kill. If I hesitate, keep making excuses, I'm the one who will end up dead. Um, Toko, we should go. I don't really feel comfortable with this. It's like we were saying in the last episode. It's not like they're wrong, but that doesn't necessarily make it okay. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing that's not okay yet. Yeah. And if it stays that way, that's good. But we don't know for sure that it's going to stay that way. It has yet to hit that full-on breaking point, but surely that's what Monica has planned. Exactly. All right, let's shoot some robot bears. I wonder if everyone's heading to Toa Hills. It looks like a real war. Yeah. Well, it has been. It yeah. has been up until this point. That's even Is the word... Is that Mole Man piloting that thing? <laughs> looks like he's getting out a lot of pent-up anger. Uh-huh. Are the children going to be okay? Eh? Now's not the time to think about the enemy. Well, no, I think at this point we kind of should. Uh, yes, I... Obviously, based on the stuff I've said, I agree with that. But maybe... Maybe not? Uh, like, this, this is complicated. All I mean is this. There comes a time you have to make a decision. And the decision... So that's Toa Hills. I, 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 just, I just feel like no matter how I say this, it's going to come off the wrong way. Uh-huh. And obviously bearing in mind everything that we've said in the last episode and this one about like how awful the situation is and what we think should be done. Right, right. If it comes down to it, you need to be more concerned with the people on your side than the enemy. Yeah, I agree. But, that, uh, you know, that's not an excuse for anything. There you go. You see it? You see how it's glowing and pulsating? That means you've got the super shot. Oh! And see, it's not on the others. I see. My god, we finally figured out a mechanic explained in the very beginning of the game. <laughs> We're brilliant! <laughs> yeah. That'll do, Damon. That'll do. Okay. I'm sorry. You should be. Good shot, Billy! <laughs> this is worthless! This is worthless to use on grunts! You, you use it at close range, not long range. Yeah, but I'm used to sniping with, like, 
automatic weapons. Yeah, you can snipe with a Gatling gun when you're playing a heavy in TF2 because you're really good at it, but <laughs> this isn't that. Huh. Fish and water. I wonder if there's some relation to Sea King Industries from Don Gon 2. They were the ones responsible for the technology that was being employed? Maybe so. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just looking too far into I it. I don't know. Maybe. That seems pretty plausible. We're kind of wondering if Toa isn't connected to the origin of all this stuff anyway. Yeah. Oh! Well, well, well. I would love to have this conversation to solve this mystery once and for all. Maybe they're just going to be sobbing. Um... What happened to these children? They look completely terrified. Why on earth would they be terrified in a situation like this, Toko? They're probably just scared once they saw the adults were fighting back. Remember those idiots back when you were a kid? The ones who would mess with the chained up dog? Inevitably, they'd get bitten and then they'd end up with the fear of dogs. But... But don't they look just horrified? They're completely frozen in fear. You're right. Maybe they're more childlike than we imagined. They never thought it would come to this, or... <gasps> or... Do you know something? No. No, nothing definitive. Just a feeling. Right. All is not as it seems, but what that might actually be, I don't know. Regardless, once we get to the kids' HQ, we'll have all the answers, even if we don't want them. Uh, I was seeing if maybe there's something different about their helmets. Like maybe there was some sort of... Like maybe normally the eyes lit up and now it's not, or you know, some yeah, small but... little clue like that, but I don't see anything. They've even got a Monokuma icon! What the heck? Note to everyone in the whole world, if you see the bear icon, if you see Monokuma, <laughs> things are bad. <laughs> well, they probably added it for this. I know. Oh god, now demons are going to sprout up across Toa City! So the door opens if you ring the bell? That's kind of weird. Convenient, though. That's why it's called a doorbell. Did you think you were making a pun? <laughs> I was far too pleased with myself. <laughs> we got in pretty easy, huh? Maybe it's because Big Bang Monokuma is making such a mess. Yes, that's correct. Togo, what are you looking around for? Well, she's looking around for the inevitable ambush that's going to happen. There's no mistaking it. Master is here! <laughs> she can smell it. That's exactly what I was going to say. The red string tied to my pinky. Oh, I can feel it tugging. <laughs> but in a building this big, it's going to be hard to find him. Well, obviously, all we have to do is catch the head brat and make them spill. That'll or, work, yeah. Or just listen for the sound of condescending. <laughs> and while we're at it, we can make them stop controlling the Monokumas. Two birds, one stone. That's why we're here, yeah. Knowing those brats, I bet they're somewhere up high where they can watch it all go down. Yeah, that seems likely. But from here on, we can't let our guard down. The Monokuma controller has to be well protected. Let's buckle up and get moving. Yeah, let's end this. Personally... I'm hoping for an easy ending. You can hope for that, but you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. I'm hoping for a happy ending. <laughs> and while the credits roll, you'll be all jealous <laughs> watching Master and me passionately embrace. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be jealous of that. And what do you mean credits? <laughs> for some reason, I feel like I've seen this before. Um... There's no chance it would suddenly ambush us, right? There's two of the robots up yeah. there. Well, I mean, the thing about a robot is they're a robot. You can just build another one. Who knows how many there were in the first place? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are we going to do a boss rush? Cool. Is that what's going to happen? Because there's two in this one, and it's the same setup in the next room. Maybe. Toa Hill's reconstruction plan. Tokuichi Toa, representative of Toa Group in Toa City, announced plans today to rebuild Toa Hills, a city landmark only trumped by Toa Tower. How many times can we say Toa in this paragraph? 
This Toa reconstruction will upscale the business side of Toa Toa. <laughs> Toa Hills has entertained residents and tourists alike, and with the remodeling, the business and private sectors will be completely revitalized. Construction begins in one Toa and is slated for completion three Toas later. <laughs> that was not even funny at all. I feel like you're patronizing me by laughing at my patheticness. Is that not too entertainment? Ah, uh, yes. At least 50% of our viewers are surely just pity watching. But we don't deserve it! Well, it's better than 30%. <laughs> I'm almost certainly positive if we try and go up there, we're going to be stymied by those two and have to do something in these puzzle rooms to deal with them. That makes sense to me. Hey, hey guys. How's it going? <laughs> we can't open the door. The robot's in the way. We gotta move it first. So what you're telling me is they're just door stops. Oh yeah? We gotta move it first, you say? I don't expect this to work. If it makes you feel better, I was gonna ask that you do it. I was hoping for a Mega Man style boss rush. What the? Butterflies? Cotton webs. Trapped, you might say. <laughs> Use that guy to step on the switch, which opens the door, and then the bomb? Wow! Ugh, God, I'm confused. Okay, we're gonna have to look at this one. Because we can I... use Link and Knockback. Obviously, that means we use Knockback and to, to knock the ball into the bomber to kill him. Yes. Okay. I use Move on the Beacon to move the bomber over there off the switch. I link him over there, have him face the wall so he's not looking at the thing, move the car, knock back the bomber monokuma, or the ball monokuma into that bomber monokuma, he explodes, exploding that bomber monokuma into the one standing on the switch. Yeah, that actually makes perfect sense. The ridiculous part is that you have to move him so that he doesn't see you. <laughs> see ya! I hit the wrong button. Okay. Explode him. Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that wasn't it. Huh. Well, I guess that makes sense. I suppose it was beat all the enemies in one go, and we did not beat the enemies in one go. Really more like uh, one and a half. There's like an extra step. Well... Nah, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm tired of this. For all we know, retrying to get the puzzle right is less valuable than taking the you didn't get the puzzle right without retrying, so pfft, forget this. Brain muscle strong. Yeah, I guess I even see how we could have done it right. No, oh, well. Hmm. Now we're on the right side. Yes. The right side was blocked by Jotaro's robot. That is correct, so that explains the kind of funkadelic uh, color this scheme. This looks like the room with that mask <laughs> kid. Tools everywhere. Oh, it smells like paint thinner. Oh. oh, paint thinner. No wonder I was feeling a little loopy. It's my favorite smell because it clears your mind and reminds you that stinky things actually smell like really good. And it turns out he actually can make quite beautiful art if he feels like it. You yeah. know who that is? That's Junko, isn't it? Well, yeah. I was going to say something about his mom, but no, no, you're right. Yeah, it's got to right. be Junko. She's got the egg. So he's quite capable of making things that are beautiful. It's not like everybody doesn't make mistakes. Look at Komaru and look at Toko. My goodness, Billy and I have made awful mistakes too. Hmm. Probably more than everybody else. But... Hey, if we use the remote control, we can move the robot, right? It just shows that Jotaro losing his shit mm -hmm. and getting really angry was a mistake. Yeah. Look at all this. 
it seems dangerous to just start playing with it. Why don't you touch it? Yeah, and carry it with you. So that right. way you've got a bunch of robots that you can fight with. Yay! The robot moved! Yay! The robot moved! Go, robot! Go! Oh, my. Uh, gotta learn how to draw the human form, I guess. Must be really inconvenient to have to run through a puzzle room and climb a ladder every time you just want to go to your room. <laughs> well, well. I shouldn't have had. There's so much I can do if my son didn't exist. So much I could have done if I never had him. I could have obtained qualifications and licenses, taken lessons, worked more. Instead, my entire life is just a platform for my son's life. I think about it every night before I go to sleep. If I woke up in the morning and my son was dead, how splendid would that be? Is this Jotaro's mom? Then I wouldn't have had to waste my life taking care of him. But every time I wake up and see him, I sigh. Why are you still alive? Why do you have a normal life? I yearn for the day he stops being healthy and stops growing and just disappears. That is all I want. Why can't you just do something that's simple for me? I want him to die so badly it makes me cry. And the fact that he has such a worthless face just makes me even more sad. It makes me think I'm the one who's wrong. I shouldn't have had you. All about me much? <sighs> Insert rant, but no, no, no. I'm saving that for Monica or, <laughs> or Junko or whatever. It's mostly flooded. Be careful that you don't shock yourself. Move and paralyze, eh? So what you have to do is just make sure that they're all a certain distance apart, I guess? Well, they're all touching water. What I have to do is I have to get here without being spotted and then zap one. So, having said that, I'll use move on this attractor to pull this shield monokuma. Use move on this attractor to pull this shield monokuma. That seems like a trap. Because all I have to do is hit one of them while, they're, while everyone's on the electricity. Okay. We know for a fact that that move is right. And that this move is right. What way did that one go? Yeah, it's facing the right Okay, way. okay, yeah. So you just do it, and eventually he'll walk over there. Uh, you should move to the right so you're not standing in case somebody sees you. Okay, now... That should be it, then. We're gonna take some damage. Does it matter? Not really. <laughs> Yeah, piece cake. Well, the thing is, is the only way to avoid it is to walk past a gauntlet of dudes that's going to see you. And they dropped hearts anyway, so yeah, it's fine. Yeah, like, that would just be adding difficulty, and which is even possibly impossible. It's like prioritizing something that doesn't matter over something that does matter. Yeah. Which you can really only do if you have, like, a darn good reason. Otherwise, you're just being dumb. Yep, yep. As expected, it's Kotoko's room this on a- room? Does that pervert grade schooler live here? You know, the one who stole your- <laughs> I said nothing happened! <laughs> Oi, don't make it worse, Toko! Oh, God. Do you know what a hobby horse is, Damon? Ah. <sighs> Now I get, we can open the door. I get that the legs are just for show, but still, Kotoko's robot should have had legs. <laughs> uh huh. Uh. I never noticed it at the time, but uh, her robot even has like the Cubile skirt in the back, <laughs> like the tail binder. Blah blah Gundam, more Zeon inspired designs, hence. The legs are just for show. It look, there's like two or three people, surely, who understand what I'm saying. I appreciate it. Ha ha ha. For the sake of my daughter. Her thing is worth like eight times more than mine. Younger women. 
thing is, poor bitch doesn't even understand that she's worth more the younger she is. If you're looking for cost effectiveness, you gotta sell it when you're still young. But it's a waste of time telling your 10 year old any of that, I guess. They just don't understand the way the world works. It's a waste of time telling us that, too. That's why mommy has to sell it for you. I'll sell it with you. It's just sad. Even if you cry and say it hurts, it's too scary, the men still pay. Sometimes they even pay more. Your tears have value. Besides, mommy's with you. Being young is a horrifying thing. It's not like I want money. It's not like I want to entrust my dream to my daughter. It's not like I'm a pervert. Uh-huh. I do this. All of this for the love of my child. I do it for her sake, so she can sparkle forever. No matter how much she hates me, or how much society will beat me up for it, I know my actions are right. It's the parent's job to shine the spotlight on their child. I'm about to break this freaking controller! Just like with Jotaro, it hardly even needs to be said how horrible that parent is. Horrible. Absolutely, utterly horrible. The thing is, if those horrible people who are horrible parents had not given birth to their child, their child would never have existed. All of it sucks. It's all meaninglessness. Kind, not, not meaninglessness. Uh, this kind of, wow, oh, I, I, I don't know how to put it. This kind of existentially despair-inducing vapor drifting around. Ah, never mind. I, I just can't articulate it right, but it's so frustrating. It's evil. Yes, it is evil. So I was thinking, and I noticed something about the way the Warriors of Hope have been acting. Uh-huh. Jotaro's mother covered his face. Jotaro's mother hid Jotaro, mm. hid him away, and hid from him herself. Yes, so he thought he was ugly. It, it probably, I'm sure she never said anything like that, uh, but that's how you would take it. Yeah, so what he did is he took the corpses and made them part of something pretty, a diorama. I am being told I am ugly, thus I will make things pretty. that are beautiful. And we all know Kotoko with her grope machine. Her Kotoko's mother was a pervert. Yeah, 100%. she was a, a twisted sex fiend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she could try to justify it all she wants, but she's not fooling anyone. Like that's all it was. And so Kotoko created a grope machine. It's passing the trauma on. Yes, and inflicting it on others. Masaru was viciously beaten, so his response was to viciously kill adults. Yeah, he, he passed took, on the same trauma he did. He took the violence and passed it on to others. And as we all found out through Nagisa, the expectations that were placed upon him became his emotional crutch. The only way he knew to live. That affected his involvement with the organization. By Nagisa's own admission, what happened to him wasn't as bad as the others. Mm -hmm. Th that's not to minimize it, but even Nagisa himself recognized that. Yeah. That doesn't mean it wasn't bad. Right, right, right. It wasn't as bad. But the thing is, is it still defined his entire life. It was the event that twisted him and shaped that twisted version of him. Anyway. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the others. Nice! Now we can keep going! Are you? Because I'm not. Of course, we're not going to get anything about Monica until the end. Uh-huh. What a pain. After all this, they're still playing games. The Where, if not here at their HQ? Uh, okay, good point. I was going to say that's what they always do and have always done, so why should you be surprised? But you're right. <laughs> here especially. Yeah. Another robot. There's no way it would end with those two robots from earlier. Not with these developers. Oi, you breaking the fourth wall? Something else. That mountain of corpses at Masaru's feet. Mm -hmm. Without question, that's Masaru's fault. Oh, yeah. But that mountain of corpses at Masaru's feet can just as legitimately be laid at the feet of his parents. 
Both of them. Understanding that a person is responsible for their own actions doesn't mean that other people aren't responsible for those actions too. Yeah. It's frustrating. It's sad. It's despair. But it's the truth. But it's the truth. Four aberrant Monokumas. We might be able to defeat them in one go if we get the right angle. Huh. And all we get is moves, so it's literally just the cards. This actually seems straightforward. I just gotta move all these cards out of the way and then blammo while they're all lined up right here. Wait a minute. What's the trick? Hold on. And then you're gonna start blocking shots. So it's yeah. like you have to move the right cards. I have to move this first one, this fourth one, and this next to last one. Yeah. Because those other two will, will block the shot otherwise. Then go over to the, to the Kumas. You also have to make sure that they're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if they sh start shuffling around, it'll miss you. All I have to do is wait until I can't hear them stepping. Yeah, you just hit the ones that are in the way. And then that... That remaining one is our one. Okay, you do not have time to hesitate a lot. Bam! Boosh! That P.E. idiot must live here. This room reeks of insecurity and overcompensation. Does it? Do you have some kind of grudge against athletic people, Toko? Yeah, seems fine. He just wanted to be a regular kid. That was all he wanted. <laughs> Warriors of Hope leader Masaru Daimon-sama. And he draws poop. Huh. No doubt about it. Monica's the best. As long as they wear the Monokuma head, everyone's our ally. Oh! If this keeps up, the paradise will be completed in no time. And this, of course, is a scene that is not optional. Correct. I didn't have to walk over to it and activate it. And when that happens, I'll bring peace to the entire world next. Just trust in Monica and even brain rinsing is easy as pie. Ah, brain rinsing. Ah, pie. Oi! As long as they wear the Monokuma head, everyone's our ally. If this keeps up, the paradise will be completed in no time. And when that happens, I'll bring peace to the entire world next. All you have to do is make sure that no one has any free will and only does what the greatest, most masterful leader dictates. Then everything will be perfect. Yeah, you've never heard this before. Toko, about this brain rinse part or throughout human history <laughs> or like the worst dictators that have ever lived never heard anything remotely similar to this he clearly means brainwash brainwashing does that really exist i've only seen that in science fiction i'm a serial killer with a split personality besides have you seen their helmets if, and their killer monokuma robots and a giant piloted monokuma and we're, the hacking gun we're already in science fiction so <laughs> No, that level of technology was developed long ago. Technology like that can't exactly be advertised to the public, can it? I figured this was the case. Ah, so it is. The masterminds made the other kids wear those helmet things to brainwash them. So it really them. was brainwashing helmets then. Okay. How awful. Yeah. That's even more reason we gotta stop the adults from fighting the children. I mean, if they were under mind control, they aren't really to blame at all, right? And that is true. That is absolutely 100% true. They do not bear any responsibility. But consider how many times have we been told throughout the, the collectible notes and stuff that we found that the children killed their own parents. You either A, don't tell the brainwashed kids what happened at all, but why? how can you explain why they don't have a mommy and a daddy anymore? How can you tell them that their friends don't have a mommy and a daddy anymore? How can you not tell them? Well, here's the thing. Are they aware of what they do while they're brainwashed? We don't know, and that's another point, but hold yeah. on. So okay, you okay. either don't tell them, and they're left with questions that will haunt them forever. They don't bear responsibility for it, though. I'm not ever suggesting that they do. Or you tell them the truth, and the answer will haunt them forever. Yeah, and that's what the despair is. There is no way out. Even though the children, the Kuma kids, did not have any control over their actions and are not to blame at all, can they ever forgive themselves? And do you, ha or do you have to just lie to them? 
it's awful. That that is the point of Danganronpa despair. Yeah, it is a situation in which there is no answer that will not hurt. Sit in the room and starve to death or kill. Yeah, yeah. What else do you do? What is there? Even if somebody were to take the utterly altruistic route like Sakura and just kill themselves, that's still despair. Yeah. And that is the point, right? Mm -hmm. Except, but as we've said, I feel like Ultra Despair Girls actually communicates that point way better than the others. I know how you feel, but it's better if you don't think about that. Huh? What do you mean? If she starts talking about what you just said, I swear. I know that you're growing, but I have a bad feeling about this. The way you've grown, uh, I feel like this whole situation has been a setup. Kind of, if it's not just by Nagito, then I wonder what she means. Obviously, this whole game is a game. It right. has been gamified. Danganronpa right. has always been about quote unquote games. Yes. You know, Komaru gaining levels and the stuff, uh -huh. like being parsed out to us for, for game, game balance, balance, right? If that was Monica's idea and not Nagito's or both of them, well, this could still be part of it. I did say that maybe they were trying to groom Komaru to become the successor to Junko. Maybe there's something to that. Set up? By who? The one who teamed up with that white-haired guy, trying to bring you all the way here. And here you are, right in the kid's HQ. It's exactly as that person planned. But even if that's true, if I just run away, I can't do anything about this war, right? Just like how there's no good answer for the Monokuma children. There's no good answer for Toko, like, saying this to, to Komaru. Regardless, she still has to do what she has to do. Yeah. Right, but... And ideally, in a Danganronpa setting, there are going to be horrible, unavoidable consequences for that. It's going to be all right. I don't know whose idea this was, or why they're doing this, but as long as we stop this violence, nothing else matters. You know what? Let's assume that I am correct about Komaru being groomed to be the next Junko Inoshima, just for the sake okay. of this argument. This intruder that has suddenly entered the city, right? who we think might be Makoto. Right. What did Makoto do in Dangan 2? He showed up at the last second to help. Yeah. To so, defeat despair. Yeah. So wouldn't it make sense for the ultimate hope to show up at the last second to defeat despair? If by despair you mean now Komaru is the ultimate despair. No, or that, to keep her from falling into despair, maybe. That probably makes more sense. Th that cuts out the weird parts that yeah. I have objections to, but rather is more like not only consistent with Dongan with Dongan Ropa by having Makoto show in be like ultimate hope, biz natches, <laughs> and, but, but also for Makoto to be the one to save his sister. Yes. That does make sense. I mean I, I guess what you say could be true about her being groomed to be the ultimate despair. It, it just smacks of, like, jumping ahead about three or four steps. Well, that is often how I come to these conclusions, I will admit. You're right. We've come this far. Only thing to do now is believe in ourselves and go for it. You're really starting to sound like him now. <laughs> huh? Y you think so? Don't blush. <sighs> it's just like I said. Brother complex. Good job, Billy. Yeah, yeah. I want to kick the soccer ball around. Okay. Okay. That useless, shitty brat. I ordered my son to go buy alcohol. I even gave him the money. He comes back home empty-handed. He said something about not having ID or something. Whatever. Who cares? I trained the boy. I made him go and do it one more time. And he comes back with alcohol. The next day, the cops show up. Apparently, the little shit stole it. The brat humiliated me. But I trained him good as soon as the cops left. I hate my son's face when I'm teaching him a lesson. Smile he forces so that I'll stop hitting him freaks me the fuck out. He can't just cry or yell like a regular kid. 
Yeah, I got myself a defective product. You know, honestly, at this point, I don't know if I can muster up any more rage yeah. or anger at the parents. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Disgusting. Masaru's father ignored reality and in his own mind believed reality to be what he believed it was, regardless of evidence to the contrary. Like sending his kid to buy alcohol. That's specifically what I'm yeah. talking about. The fact of the matter is, of course a kid can't buy alcohol. Idiot. And of course, if he's that afraid, he's going to resort to stealing it if he has no choice. But no, no, that doesn't matter. Reality is what you believe it to be, according to his father, not what it actually is. And you can't even entertain any notions to the contrary. This room feels different than the others. It's less of a fighting stage and more like a riddle. Uh, they're all like that. No, no, no. Our objective is not to destroy the enemy, and we have zero truth bullets that we can use. Oh! This appears to be your favorite, Billy, a stealth puzzle. Oh, maybe it just means we can use whatever bullets we want as long as we can solve it? Zero. Well, the first thing we should do is try to go up to that... Yeah, that panel, panel. there. Because it's not like the enemies can even see me where they are. Uh, you can make them, oh. I'm sure. Use the thing that only you can see and the thing that only others see in precise order. That means... Hold on, don't just do it randomly. Go around to the other side of the sucker and, and look and see if there's another hint. Ah! Okay, so it means first move the bomber. Or... Hmm. Or it means I have to kill them in order. Hold on. Well, let me, let me see, see what happens when I examine it. The thing that you can see and the thing that others can see. Well, we'll, we'll look at that again. And we're supposed to get numbers out of this? The thing only we can see is the zero, which was from the monitor on the top. Yeah, so the zero is the thing that only we can see. Yeah. But there's no there's no way to look at these and, and obtain a number well, from them. Now, this is the regular one seems to be the one that we don't need, have anything to do with. Hold on, hold on. The it, bomber Monokuma is holding two grenades, but in the picture you can't see them. The siren Monokuma has one lot. No, that no, doesn't that, seem like it matters. That that's we don't have anything leading us towards that. Yeah. It seems arbitrary. Besides, if that were the case, wouldn't it? Th then that would mean it would be one because the shield Monokuma has a, a shield. shield? <laughs> that uh, one zero, and then the last one would be two. But I mean, what's the? Is that a zero? I don't know. It, 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 what we need to focus on is is less trying to come up with some way to like magically assign values in a way that appears to be consistent but isn't suggested to us, and instead remember the clue we have. This is what, what only we can see, but what's the thing that others see? Hold on, you see those little slants? Each Monokuma is staring at something that is blocked. I need to use Link. Link and see what it is. I need to Link with okay, them. Okay, so you... Besides, we did get Link bullets from that machine. So shield is first. Link. Oh, good, he didn't block it. Three. Yeah, just leave him there. Don't, don't mess with him. Okay, so three, zero... Four. Eight. Three, zero, four, eight. Okay, okay. Of course, Nagi says it's like this. <laughs> so many reference books. I feel nauseous. I feel right at home. <laughs> Maybe you already forgot this, but I'm a liberal arts girl. Yeah, I agree with Toko here. <laughs> it just seems quite natural. Well, well, well. Blue thread from the Scarred Mountain. As I live here in the village, deep down in the mountains, I dream about you every night on my thin futon on the creaking kitchen floor. From the author of So Lingers the Ocean, Toko Fukawa's long-awaited new novel. Ah. Oh, is this another one of your books? It says Toko Fukawa's latest work right there, genius! Um... How many books have you written, Toko? <laughs> Never really counted before, but let me think. 
If we're talking about novels, I'd say more than 80. How many have been published? 80! Nothing. Nope. No, really, how many have you had published? It's not so surprising. I wrote every single day, after all. Writers write. That's why you're a writer. Many people want to be writers, but they don't want to actually do the writing. <laughs> I, I mean, that's where I am. I, yeah. I love to write, but I don't want to do that. That's a lot of work. And it's not the quantity that matters, it's the quality. Only third-rate companies value quantity. As expected of an ultimate. But... But, are you getting antsy lately since you haven't been able to write? <sighs> yeah. I'm making to get all these raging emotions onto a manuscript. I'm worried if I don't get these babies out, my creative womb is going to, oh no, explode. Oh, oh no! really? I've got a manga that might serve as an outlet. No! <laughs> that does sound bad though. And? What about you? What do you want to do when you get out of here? Eat my favorite foods and read some manga and then talk to my brother and then watch TV. And, oh, now I'm going to look at what she says. <laughs> Lots of stuff, really. I want to go to school, <laughs> eat my mom's cooking, and there's a lot of manga to read. <laughs> and also, I want to go on a picnic with you. Oh, a picnic? A virgin dude's date of choice? You see... It's just that I haven't really seen a nice, peaceful blue sky lately. <laughs> so when I get out of this place, I want to go on a picnic with you. Under a clear, sunny blue sky. I want to do all the cliche things, like eat sandwiches. I see. <laughs> Even when you're fantasizing, you're normal. Oh, come on, Toko. You know it sounds good to you, too. Well, if I don't have any engagement ceremonies with Master planned that day, I'll think about it. Toko! Oh, you said you'd go! It's a promise, Dan. <laughs> I said I'd think about it! It's too early to think about that kind of stuff until we escape! All right! Well, the way I see it, I am definitely going to escape. You think the same way, don't you? Hmm. Th th that's true, but I guess I'm just surprised by how much you've changed in this short time. It's because I'm the ultimate normal person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take your pride, we can get it. <laughs> People change. <sighs> Cut the attitude. I should make a daily routine of lubing up your doorknob with salad dressing. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what you want to accomplish with that, but okay. Well, I guess if it's covered with salad dressing, she couldn't really leave her room, but I guess she just cleaned it off or something. Stop it! Ew, please don't. I never want to go home. Why am I such a wimp about salad dressing? <laughs> Uh, I'm so pathetic, I'd probably just lick it off my hand. Ew. I am not gonna lie, Billy. Do you Com normally? Now I, we can open the door. Dup, 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 Got him. Well, regardless <laughs> of the fact that I have been thoroughly owned, <laughs> it's been nice to have a relaxing episode for once. I agree. Oh, open? Oh, we could have been doing this the entire time? Huh. Well, now I have to go back and check and make sure there's not any items on any of those balconies. <sighs> well, let's get that one first. Debating on switching subjects. I cannot obtain the result I was expecting with my experiment. Nagisa, of course. Of course. I cannot discern whether the environment or the subject himself is the problem. You know what the problem is? <laughs> it's you, you sorry SOB. <laughs> I shall look into the experiment conditions in more detail. Until now, I've used solely visual observation, but I should erect cameras to watch the subject at all times and discipline the subject when resting longer than allowed. With controlled shots, no doubt. If I do not obtain any desirable results with the experiment, I will conclude that the problem lies with the subject and change my experimental target. So basically, not only is he a horrible, rage-inducing parent, uh -huh. he's also incompetent and inflexible <laughs> and overly rigid and extremely unperceptive <laughs> and unwise. 
brilliant, dude. I can do a much better job at this than you, and I think that everything you do is horrible. <laughs> okay, we checked. There weren't any. I want to say I feel so relaxed, but unfortunately, because Billy just owned me so hard, all I can do is feel shame. <laughs> Please come back and pity watch us again next time. I... <laughs> <laughs>